you're having a problem with your fiberglass parts, if you're looking to convert, what's your option? At CNK, we recommend thermoforming. Hi, David with CNK Plastics. We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina today, and we want to talk about fiberglass and transitioning fiberglass over to vacuum forming. We've been getting a lot of calls here the, this year about moving parts away from fiberglass. Fiberglass has been a great material for years. Now, there's a shortage of the components to make the fiberglass. There's a short, real shortage of workers to make the fiberglass parts. So, it's heavy it will crack. You've got to keep the gel coat clean and polished. Sometimes you've got to recoat the gel coat. With vacuum forming, you don't have any of those things. We've got two to three minutes to process something that fiberglass would take a half a day or a day. We're lighter weight, we're stronger. The finish, the UV coating is already there in the finished part. There's no buffing, there's no gel coat. Right here is a side fairing for a tractor trailer truck. Look at the detail it's formed in. This is made out of a material called TPO, thermoplastic olefin. It's virtually indestructible. As your truck goes down the highway and it gets hit with a rock, it doesn't break. Tops for uh, compressors, tops for different types of heat pumps that are used in both the spa and pool industry, all kinds of parts for ATVs, uh, wheel well skirts. Maybe I should explain, all of this is vacuum forming. All of the material is heated and then vacuum evacuates the trapped air. Okay, this is our sheet out of the oven. Notice the sag. The mold is going to come down into the sheet. The vacuum is going to evacuate the trapped air and atmospheric pressure will finish forcing the material up against the tool. Fans will kick on and the cooling process will start. And when it's below deflection temperature, we'll index around, we'll start the process again. In some operations like this, we use a female mold and we pressure form it. This is a pressure form part. This is the front of an ice machine. What we have done is we pull this into a female tool to get all of this definition. You see the part is smooth here and it's textured here. Then we flip it over and we cut these ribs open on our CNC machine. We actually go in and we weld this bracket on each side of this part so that when this fits on the ice machine, it can just hang on the front of the ice machine. Uh, this was this part was metal. This part was converted from metal to plastic. Hey everyone, I'm Mark White, plant manager at CK North Carolina. This right here is an actual bus dash that we assemble in-house. And we assemble everything from start to finish with the hoses and all the valves and the gauges. We have a great workmanship, skilled workers that can do any type of assembly that you need whether it be medical, transportation, we've even done aerospace. I had a guy come to me in New Jersey just last week with a really nice fiberglass part. He can't find anybody to make it, so he's gonna convert it to vacuum for me. He's even gonna save a little money. He's gonna get a part that's weatherable. They don't have to buff it. They don't have to do the gel coat. All kinds of positives, and it's much lighter weight. So, a lot of reasons for changing over, but one of the biggest ones there's people to process the plastic where it takes a whole day to make a fiberglass part. We take two to three minutes. Uh, we've got people that run the rotary presses. We can make many of these parts in one day where the fiberglass fabricator is only making one or two. So where there's a shortage of labor, there's a shortage of materials, vacuum forming may be your way to convert your fiberglass part.